Hello. This is an updated video, which describes in basic detail how a jet engine works. There are many types of jet engine, which are described in another video on this channel. To keep things simple though, we will just look at the basic design concept. To understand how a jet engine produces thrust, we must first look at Sir Isaac Newton's third law of motion. Newton's third law states that for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. For example, if you fire a gun, the force projecting the bullet from the gun gives a recoil force on the gun itself. This principle is used for aircraft thrust. Now let's look at the inside of a jet engine, and describe how it works. There are various stages of a jet engine. These are the intake, the compressors, the combustion chambers, the turbines, the exhaust nozzle, and a drive shaft. Air is drawn into the intake, where it meets the compressors. There are various types of compressor, but the compressor's basic job is to compress the air, so that it leaves the compressor at high pressure. That high pressure air is then fed into the combustion chambers. There it is mixed with fuel and then ignited. The air then leaves the combustion chamber at very high pressure and velocity. The air then passes over the turbines, and then out through the exhaust nozzle. This high pressure, high velocity air, leaving the exhaust nozzle, produces the action, according to Newton's law. This action pushes the engine in the opposite direction, which is the reaction, or thrust. When the air passes over the turbines, the turbines rotate, in a similar manner as blowing on a toy windmill will turn the windmill blades. The rotation of the turbines will turn the drive shaft. The drive shaft will not only drive gearboxes etc., but its main function is to turn the compressors. So, to sum up. Air is sucked in through the intake. The air is then squeezed by the compressors. The air is then ignited with the fuel in the combustion chamber. The air is then blown out of the back via the exhaust nozzle, to produce thrust. The turbines rotate due to the hot air, which drives the drive shaft, which in turn, drives the compressors. That's all folks, you now know the basics of the jet engine components, and how it all works. We hope you enjoyed it. Goodbye.